On the way back from Westminster today, I tried to get on the tube in my wheelchair, only to discover that the lift was out of order, as you can see. Signs said to go to the end of the street and catch a lift just around the corner. However, when we actually went round the corner, there was no such lift. As a result, we got quite stuck and couldn't quite work out what to do. My carer went to find somebody to get instruction, and that's where we carry on from now, I do believe. Where are they? Tube around here. This is right. Well, that's not it. So I just tried to get in at Westminster Station and the lift at the main entrance is out of order and it tells me to go round by Cannon Row. So we went via Cannon Row and there's, there's no entrance at Cannon Row. So my carer went back and asked them in the ticket hall where to go and um, the ticket hall said to carry on round the other side of the station to near the pier uh, the lady in the ticket hall and now we can't find out where on earth to go and our train went now five minutes ago these the signs all said to carry on around the corner to Cannon Row and then when we got there like all the doors were locked and there's no sign whatsoever what to do if you're a wheelchair user so now we're just wandering around on Embankment and round Westminster and having gone round Portcullis House trying to find a way into this blasted tube station. It's, it can't be further down. Let's go back. Yeah. It's not your fault, it's, it's picking transport for London, London Underground. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Did you say there was around the corner? There was a slope. Well, yeah. But where? I don't know if she meant the slope for Port Collis House or what. Uh. You know, and non wheelchair users, non disabled people could just go down the steps and you know. catch the train like normal. Well, that's, that's Port Collis House. That's um, part of the parliamentary estate 
I've been in there, there's security and everything. I can't imagine that there's an entrance to the tube station from there. And in any case, it certainly doesn't mention one. I'm gonna go around and video. Get this all on video. So I'm back at the main entrance, have a look at this sign, the lift is closed, please use pavements at the front of the station to access lift in Cannon Row, step free access available on Cannon Row to the Jubilee line which is what I want, so Cannon Row is at the end there. That sign says lift to wheelchair, lift to wheel, Westminster Station is down here. Let's go down here. And there's, there's nothing. I mean, it's, it's just shut, you know? The road's blocked off and there's, there's no access. So how the hell are you supposed to get into this station if you're a wheelchair user? What's worse, there's no means of getting in contact with any member of staff because you've got to be able to get down to the ticket hall, which is down some steps or a lift, and the lift is out of order. So if you can't manage the steps, you're really stuffed. Please, can you ask her to come with us? I know, I know the way. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. Okay? It annoys me though. Step free access available on Cannon Row. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I know it's stressful for you as well. Bloody ridiculous. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So am I. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, let's see how far around this is on the non-diversion on the stuff that's not on the signs that just says you can go down around the corner uh.
Ah, lovely. I tell you, I'm lucky that we've got a carer who could go down the stairs and actually get somebody because I couldn't get down there to find somebody when the signs didn't tell me what to do. signs tell us to do this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me I'm sure this is all very pretty but I'd rather be on the train which left like a quarter of an hour ago now. <laughs> yeah. to go around. around. Uh, just a minor diversion then. So I'm not cross at you in any oh, way. No, I know. <laughs> I'm cross at as well. I'm just making sure that the whole thing is recorded. I'll take a screenshot of the website in a minute. So 19 again. Finally. But it never ending. That's at least 20 minutes we've spent trying to get into this bloody station so far. Because I've been recording for 15 minutes and I've already been going for about five before then. Yeah, look at the timer. <laughs> 
sorry I didn't think I should have said to go whilst you were down there okay. I got a bit distracted sorry for access please see attendance room well it's got a it's got a key I shall pause the video and not record this bit. <laughs> That's great though, for us I see attendance room. Attendance room shut. It's supposed to be open until 9 o'clock p.m. I think. Or 8 o'clock. Although it's only a 20 to 7, it's shut. No sign what to do if you need the loo and you haven't got a radar key. Did you enjoy that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Through this bit where there is clear signage that this is where to go for wheelchair users, not. Thank you. Ah, how's this going to work? Oh, there is a ramp. Well, blimey, there's the other end of those stairs. And there's that out of order lift. It only took 25 minutes to get round it. I quite often see that it claims that there's good service on all lines. I have to wonder, good service for who? Because that was certainly not good service for me. As you can see, the website says that there is full access by a cannon row located outside of the station, whereas in fact that isn't the case at all, and there was no sign as to what to do. This had knock-on effects for my own carer and my journey, for our food, we missed our meal, and lots of stress, and we're really tired now, um, running late, um, to a large extent due to London Underground's failure to consider disabled people when they shut that lift, and what to do about it.